I'm Gloria Blake, I'm 16, I go to Penrose High School in Auckland. I want to look into a job that's heavily, heavily male orientated for that bit of copella. You might think we've taken Gloria on a surfing holiday, but this will be no holiday. For we've come to Raglan to mend roads. New Zealand has a very extensive network of rural roads and keeping them in good order is no small job. Gloria's mentor is Don Stevens. There'll be no time for surfing this morning because we've got plenty of work to do. Don is road maintenance supervisor for Tanlaw, the Waikato's road maintenance company. Good morning Ken. Ken, this is Gloria. Good Hello. morning you go, Don. Good morning Gloria. Welcome to Tanlaw. Thank you. First of all is the old hard hat Gloria and of course your glow jacket. I hope this fits you Gloria. I've got a little uh, handbook here which uh, believe it or not it's got your name on it. Oh wow. This is just an introduction Gloria. It tells you all about health and safety in the industry. Tanlaw have to systematically inspect every road, sealed and unsealed in their area. When faults are found, the position is marked and the detail logged. We're out there, it's, it's hard work, there's a lot of sweat and tears that goes into providing a good service for our clients. Yeah, it's dusty out there, you're, you're out in the, in the, in the weather, the, uh, the rain and the, the sun. It requires a person that um, is pretty hardy. First job, marking up a high shoulder, a section where grass is preventing good drainage. Do you trust me with this? Oh, you'll be fine. You sure? Yeah. Oh, look at Instant girl power. Yes. <laughs> the type of people that um, we need in the construction industry, uh, the maintenance and construction, are uh, people that are reliable for a start, have good uh, work ethics, people that are self-driven, Looking for people that are, enjoy the outdoors, uh, the physical side of things, have certain skills, uh, licences are a big plus within our industry. Very good. That's our high shoulder marked up. All we have to do now is load it in the PDA. GPS tells them where they are and the PDA is used to record all faults. The faults could be drainage problems, pothole problems or shiny surface problems. Fixing faults in public car parks are part of the job too. As you can see down here Gloria, the um, car park area here has started to break up. Yeah. The metal's unravelling and uh, it needs to be strengthened. So we'll bring in a hoe and uh, stabilisation gang and they'll fix this. First water, then cement is laid on the surface. Dealing with certain chemicals, your cements, your limes, you have to be trained to know how to use them properly because uh, safety's paramount. The hoe then churns up the existing road materials and blends them with the cement. It's all like mixing one giant rock cake. Okay, what's not? Okay. Yeah, now you won't break any of this, a man's toy. Shut you up. Break. <laughs> There's no shortage of toys on this job. Each machine is designed for a specific task, which means each driver requires specialised training. Just for today, we've brought out our newest, most shiniest truck. So what they've done, they've sprayed on an emulsion, it's a 180-200 emulsion, mixed with um, kerosene, and then they've uh, come in with the trucks and spread a layer of uh, grade 3 chip, and they'll go and spray again and apply a grade 5 chip, which is a smaller chip. Then you'll be able to jump on the roller and uh, give it a good pounding. There's a thorough driving lesson and Gloria's given a go. Nice day, Sergeant. It was cool! Yeah. At this site there's been a very big slip. Thousands of tonnes of fill are being tipped to provide a wider and safer roadway. Brock Orbell, currently in his third year of apprenticeship, is one of the team here. So I take it you really enjoy doing this? Yeah, I do enjoy doing it. I never thought I'd do it. Um, sort of joined the workforce here and didn't know anything about it, didn't know how to drive trucks or diggers or rollers and yeah. I can do all that now so yeah it's been a good learning curve. Brock intends to train for another five years in order to advance his qualifications. I know it's a hell of a long time to do an apprenticeship for it but um, you know at the end of the day sitting in an office and earning a lot of money, pretty <laughs> choice. Yeah no complaints. <laughs> Drainage has been a big problem here and new pipes have to be installed. So what's this daily drilling machine for? This machine here is a ditch witch. Uh, what we're doing is drilling pipes 
uh, through underneath the road here to adequate the drainage and um, basically when this is all built up you'll have all, all, several pipes coming through here uh, the drainage will be going through the pipes out the other end and um, sort of stop it from all seeping through the material and trying to stop what happened before. Well another load of fills arrived and someone's got to shift it. Right hand forward. Right hand forward. Right hand forward. Down. Oh that's how you go down. We have a lot of staff training. Tanel puts a lot of lot of money into getting people up to speed, you know, getting their licenses, ranging from your, your graders, your your backhoes, uh, your diggers. Yeah. And just swing around quietly and place that metal out. Okay. I think um, for the amount of time that she had uh, to practice, she was amazing. I think she's got uh, plenty of potential there. She picked up uh, what I told her very quick. So she should uh, be a great digger operator. Other way. Oh, hang on, hang on. Yeah, yeah. The machinery was fun. It's like, like boys. They always say boys and their toys, girls and their toys. That was fun. Ass. She uh, cottons onto things really fast. She listens. I think she'd be a, a great team player. I think uh, we'd have no problem hiring her in the future, and uh, she'd be a good prospect. In the civil construction industry, you can train on the job with the aim of achieving national certificate qualifications. For school leavers, there are modern apprenticeships and cadetships available in the industry. InfraTrain also offers senior school students the Gateway Program, which provides an opportunity for hands-on workplace learning in the civil construction industry while still at school. The job outlook for road and construction workers is excellent, as the number of people employed is expected to increase. Supporting local content so you can see more of New Zealand on air.